Hi guys, today we're going to be making a really beautiful piece of art. We're going to be using uh, several different types of materials and it's based on African animals. I chose to do a giraffe, but you could just as easily do a zebra if that's an animal that you prefer. But I'm going to go through a very um, kind of precise step-by-step -step drawing how to draw a giraffe. First thing we're going to do is, I'm going to do it in Sharpie, uh, so you can see it a little easier. But at home, I'd really like you to use pencil so that if you make a little mistake, you can erase and try again. First thing we're going to start with are the ossicones, which are those strange looking little, almost antenna things on the top of a giraffe. And I learned that they're actually made of bone and they're part of the giraffe skull. So they're kind of like antlers, but I just think they're adorable and make a giraffe look kind of like a Dr. Seuss character. So, let's go ahead and start with those. Then you have the top of the head. Another of those. We're going to add some ears. Spot for the eyes. And then as you know, they are known for their very long neck. So let's have that go all the way to the bottom of the page. Let's add eyes. They have really long eyelashes. Pupils. And this is how I think um, an easy way to draw a giraffe nose is it comes down like this. And then you add this like little muzzle thing. So what's going to make it most look like a giraffe is when you first paint it yellow, let it dry, and then go back in and add those really cool brown splotches. And did you know that Every giraffe has a different uh, pattern of blotches. They're kind of like fingerprints for us. So maybe that's how they tell each other apart out in the African savanna. Speaking of the African savanna, that's where our giraffe is going to be living. So I need you to go ahead behind the giraffe and make a horizon line. Stop when you get to the giraffe. I'd like you to draw a couple of trees because uh, they live in the African savanna and it's really the best way to describe it is kind of rolling grasslands with trees dotting the landscape. So we're going to do a couple of trees. Okay, you're going to get out your watercolors. I'd like you to do a beautiful sunset, then go over and do your trees. Down here can be um, brownish uh, for kind of brown grass. And after you're done with that part, you're going to go ahead and choose a black background paper. Put this right here. And let me show you the next step. Here is my completed version. And what I've done, in addition to what we already did, was to go ahead and after you've done the pencil and painted it in, outline your giraffe or your zebra in black marker. Once you glue this down, I'd like you to go ahead and take some white paint and paint some designs around the edge for a nice border. And even though these are not technically um, definite African symbols, I think you can kind of make them look that way. And if you want to be extremely true to it, why don't you go ahead and look up some African symbols that are used in the savanna to work on for your border. So this project is mixed media, which means we used a bunch of different materials. We used um, acrylic paint, we used watercolor, we used um, Sharpie, and this is probably my favorite example of pattern in nature because of all the really cool brown splotches that you see on a giraffe. So I can't wait to see yours. I think that uh, it really becomes kind of a masterpiece when you're done. So send yours in to me so I can comment on it and check it out. And I can't wait to see you next time.